Tell me a little bit about your organization for those who may not know. What it is, is it's kind of a professional development club. And what we do is we have people come and speak who have graduated from Georgia Southern and they speak about their career path they have chosen with the child and family development major they graduated with. And they come and speak to us about their different jobs. Like we've had a DFAX worker come. We've had someone come from the program Babies Can't Wait. We've had a bunch of different people from different programs come and they speak to us about their career and different things about their career and how they got to their career. And we get to ask them questions about their career. And it's kind of helpful because for the child and family development majors, and I believe for the psychology majors as well, you need an internship. And it's really good because it helps a lot to find internships and talk to people about jobs. Like I had no idea all the different jobs in DFACs and what you could do in DFACs. And you find all about all the jobs and stuff. So how is your organization handling COVID? So our organization is currently meeting in person, socially distanced with masks, but with COVID, we do also have a Zoom link and our speakers are joining us through Zoom and anyone, there's no penalty of joining on Zoom for anyone who feels more comfortable for joining on Zoom. What are some service projects do you all do? Um, so unfortunately with COVID, a lot of our service projects were working with the elderly or working with children, which is really hard to do right now. But right now, the only one that we have on schedule is to um, work at the arts festival that they put on every year in Sweetheart Circle for the community where you go and you put it on and kids come and do arts and crafts. There's a tentative date for that and we plan to serve at that if we're, if we're able to. And under normal circumstances, what we would also do service at is there's a ball put on, like a dance put on for the special ed, for special ed adults, and we would volunteer at that as well. And we have in the past, but that's not being held due to COVID this year. And we're also looking into like different other different community projects that we can maybe add in the future. Like I know the local soup kitchen, we're looking into that. And I believe there's some others we're looking into as well. So on y'all page under Georgia Southern, I saw that y'all go to conferences. So like before COVID happened, what were some conferences that you all went to? Some of the conferences we went to, um, so we did a lot with the, in the Williams Center, they would put on the sold events and we would attend those. And there would also be, um, for our major, there would be like some national, some like national conferences that we could go to, and our mostly our advisor would attend that with some of the some of the meters that are leaders for the club. But none of them are being held, and few and there's a few being on Zoom. But mostly, it's just attending right now. It's just attending the sold events on Zoom. What are some important trends about child and family development that the students of GS do not know about? The trends that child and family development offer is that with this major, a lot of people did, like, when I first came to Georgia Southern, I did not know about this major. I only knew about early childhood education. So the thing about child and family development, we're doing family services, child life, and, you know, uh, child development where you can work at a pre-k program or even work in the school system as an administrator so with the club is really opening up more opportunities for not just the you know basic of early childhood education like just becoming a teacher we do more than just that what is the club doing to spread more awareness about the importance of child and family development right now what we do is basically bringing the people in to speak so they can bring in outside information in to help make it more aware for people who do attend the events and we are trying to put up flyers and we have information in the interdistant very building but we're trying to basically help the people because our major is very unknown help with the club, help just inform them about the major overall and what career opportunities they may get to go out into. Um, can you actually list some career um, 
career opportunities that people may look into? Yes, of course. So one of the major careers that a lot of people in our major go into is um, a lot of people do social work. That's one part of it. You can also become um, different child therapists. There's also um, different, you can also go <coughs> that way. And um, I'm a family services emphasis, so you can become a family life educator, which is a job as well. There's a lot of different jobs and it all just kind of depends on what you focus on within the major. Um, there's also like the more like after school like extracurricular programs. Like I know a lot of people work with like 4-H and like girl and boy scouts, um, summer camps, things like that, that could still help to be like a leader, even like a program coordinator for those kind of jobs um, with our major. Um, for the college students that are parents, what are some creative tips you can give them to continue to build up their relationship with their child? I mean, obviously, the major teaches you about different developmental um, aspects of your child and helps you with that. And I think that we as a club kind of also accommodate to parent, like with the Zoom link, accommodate to parents. I don't know if we're necess we nece we don't necessarily focus on educating parents, but we of course do have parents that attend and help do help with them. With our major, we you can um, especially with family services, like what Ashby was saying, um, they offer a lot of like meetings. Um, a lot of families they go to the family resources center that Statesboro may have and um, they get, you know, education classes and also assistance with either food stamps or housing. So that's really um, important for a lot of families, definitely in right now at this time, who are, you know, going through a process of either getting evicted or they don't know where the next meal is coming from. So I know y'all just listed some resources. Do you have any other resources that students can go to for more information? If anyone comes to us, we can direct them, of course, towards even a shelter or whatever they need. And we also, of course, just to find resources about the club, we have a Facebook page that I can email to you as well. As